Damn, I feel like I'm on an on rails. Oh, there we oh, go. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're down to the Quetzal. Pack. Oh no, peck away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some numbers! You're right, kids, it's Rask Clark, and welcome to another very special episode. Yes, we've got another guest on the show. Introducing our guest today, and certainly a special one for me, not only inspiring me and other budding arc builders to learn some of the many, many tricks he's picked up throughout the years, but executed in such a transcendent form of video editing that practically hypnotizes you in its quality that you'll no doubt need to watch again and again, not least for a need to have every build imprinted into your memory. Posting 68k subscribers with a complete collection of on-brand videos, mostly dedicated to unique cheap traps for the most difficult creatures to contain in Ark, with his biggest video standing at a whopping 594,000 views, but almost every vid being a hit with the community, ranging through to the most impressive elaborate builds ever seen. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the legend, Captain Fat Duck. So, Mr. Hello. Cap, how are we doing, mate? Hello. Good. Good, thanks, yeah. It seems a great place to start there, I think, that your brand, uh, which I really admire, you certainly seem to have uh, a graphic design mind. And before we jump into the question, we've got a little challenge set for you. So, as an experienced builder, and especially with trap designs, we're going to see how you fare under pressure. So... <laughs> okay. Follow me, mate. Uh, there's a bit of gear in the vault. You might want it. It's a bit of tech gear. It's a bit of armor. And what we're going to do, because you do a lot of traps, I'm thinking, can you trap or create a trap under pressure around an OSD whilst it's being attacked? <laughs> Sounds interesting. So OSDs, as you know, normally when we get close to them, they sometimes activate on their own. Is that, is that a red one? Oh, so this is going to be even fun as well. You are at your disposal in GCM to create anything structure-based you think can hold off the corrupt, which of course <laughs> can damage structures, whether it be turrets or, or, or whatnot, whatever you can create that you think will keep them at bay and perhaps kill them. But <laughs> it's, it's all going to be fail. I'm expecting a fail. Meanwhile, I'm going to be your ball boy and running, running around putting down behemoth gates to get give you a bit of a head start so <laughs> cap <laughs> yeah, this should you, be interesting. are you ready <laughs> okay right i wouldn't say i'm ready but we'll <laughs> give it a go yeah so it's undeniable your brand is one of the most consistent arc channels out there every vid offering your signature style of editing quaint clean and precise but always with a dash of humor to them where did that stylized delivery of content originate from this is going to be hard to multitask. I oh think. yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. That, that's the whole point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the I'm the worst multitasker as well. Yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. I'm the same. Uh, <laughs> but talk me through. So we were talking earlier that um, you know that you don't have a graphic design background yet. I would say you are more design minded than I am. Like even even though I was a graphic designer previously. Originally, it was just a case of I was watching videos, arc videos building, and yeah. I, I started to get into the building and I, I wanted to, I realised that there was a lot of things that I was doing that there were just no videos out there showing the kind of stuff that I was doing, so I wanted to um, get that content out there really. As for the style of the videos, that just kind of came naturally, I, I wasn't inspired by anything, or yeah. it was just like I was trying to be, just be me, you know, Mate, it's just being myself. That's fascinating that, yeah, because you, you have certainly got a talent there with, with how you, you know, you put your content and, and your thumbnails together and just to think that that's some, something you just developed over time is is definitely inspiring to, to many, really, that, you know, you don't need qualifications in, in anything, really. You could just set your mind yeah. to what you want and, and you know, keep... Yeah, I mean, I'd messed, I'd, messed I'd messed around with like Photoshop and that before I started making videos. But as for the video editing, I'd not really, I didn't really have any experience with that. It was just kind of jumped into it and cracked on. <laughs> wow. It's notable by most that your uploads are quite far and few apart. And despite 
I guess my concerns about losing your way in the algorithm doesn't seem to phase the attention you receive with each upload. So what's the biggest contribution to the time it takes between uploads? Some of the time it's just me being lazy, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then other times it is genuinely like I'm spending a lot of time working on a video. Like recently I've I've been working on a Shadow Main Trap and I've okay, been yeah. staying up till like four in the morning working on that like for the last few nights. So sometimes it is genuinely like just takes a lot of work. And I think that's why sometimes I do get a bit a bit tired of um, making the videos because it can it can be like pretty exhausting when you're spending that much time on it. You kind of need a break every now and again. Yeah, and with the designs being so, I guess, intricate, like it, 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 you know, it must be it must get you to a point where it's like just mind numbing, and yeah, you just need that yeah, break. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, they're coming in, mate. <laughs> I'll be I know. On. I know. Oh I'm my word. Yeah, yeah. I like this. I want to help, but I, I, I don't feel like I can. <laughs> and on that subject, every trap you make, and I've seen firsthand, can go through iteration after iteration. Nowadays, pulling in your community to help define and make sure a trap is 100% foolproof. But they all start with you seemingly unlocking the matrix and bending arcs mechanics to define each build. So what inspired you to decide, and I guess realise it was something that you had an eye for? Uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm completely <laughs> failing to block these up and it's really distracting me right now. <laughs> i tell you what, I, I, I'll get some turrets yeah. out. Yeah. For me, it's, it's more like I like to solve problems. I don't look at things and think, how can I do it different? It's more, I see problems that people are trying to solve and yeah. failing. I'm like the type of person I just won't stop until until I've like figured it out. So it's more like I just can't help myself. But like, but even so, Ark in itself has a building mechanic, right? And you've seen that and gone, but no, nah, no, nah, you don't need to do it that way. You can do it another way. Like, and that that's what fascinates me that you just saw that from a completely different perspective to the, most other people. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't really have a, a good answer for it, though. It's just... It's, it's um, me. Uh, yeah, that's just what I'm... That's what I do. I, yeah, yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> I, yeah, I, long, I, I, long I think someone. at the end of the day, it's, it's just a case of whether you in, enjoy doing something. Like, if you enjoy something, you, you're going to just keep do it, keep at it, aren't you? And that, I think that's where it comes down to at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, excellently put, mate. I think that's 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 absolutely it. Yeah, how are we doing? How's the uh, up looking? Um, oh, we're okay. We're doing okay. <laughs> oh oh God, no, yeah. we've got a trike coming in from the other side. Oh no! Oh, the ceiling's oh, gone. The, the, the ceiling's gone. <laughs> Right, I, think... I can't place anything. Oh, oh mate. Oh, oh disaster. <laughs> Shoot the car, no. We, we both need to punch it. The uh, that's that's it. Come on. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. Oh, hang on. There we go. It works. Oh, Sorry, it's a going there off. We go. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, yeah, we just talked about that. What amazes me is how some of the tricks are top secret. A good example is your hovering helicopter build with actual moving rotor blades. If I remember well, you said you'd reveal at some point, but like any magician, I'm sure you've got your reasons, so I won't attempt to dig that out today. But I'm more interested in the secrecy behind these mechanics. What are the reasons for keeping them locked away behind the fat dog door? Uh, most of the time, it's not necessarily that I'm trying to keep it secret. It's just that I never get around to actually showing it like <laughs> it's not that i don't want to show how things are done it's more that i want to do it in the right way if you know what i mean like okay. i don't want to be just like uh yeah this is how i did it and like it not be interesting i want to make a good video or stream or whatever out of whatever i'm showing really? mate there must be so many people dying to see that in action as well and understand how you just yeah just broke arc and still even now i think you uh, got involved with the uh the architects events where there was a, a carousel i looked into using that trick yeah um so that it'd be automated 
but in the end it wasn't really going to work out so we, they ended up using I didn't actually work on it in, in the end well I did work on it a little bit actually because the, the, the carousel was spinning round wonky so <laughs> they got me in to fix it um, but basically like it, it was a raft yeah. uh, within I think a hatch frame uh, so that it couldn't it could. It was like locked in position, and then someone was manning it to make it spin. Oh right, that makes yeah. As soon as I saw it turn, I was like, "Yeah, this is Captain Fat Dog." Oh, by the way, <laughs> there are many things coming in now. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's hope your trap works. Yeah, it's keeping them at bay. It's buying us time. Well, we we're buying us time for nothing because we can't really defend it. You've honeycombed an OSD essentially, mate. That's that's what's going on. I like it. Under pressure, you're doing well. <laughs> you I'm doing... trying to spam some ceilings in now, but it's not letting me play some again. Now. <laughs> I got PCs like like chomping in my head. Oh, we're really in trouble. Oh now. yeah, yeah, it's all over. It's all... <laughs> it, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> However, <laughs> we pushed them back. We kept them at bay with just well, you kept them at bay with just building. That's an achievement <laughs> for one wave <laughs> on, a, on a red drop as well, lest we forget, mate. But yeah, I think it, it, it's just watching uh, wait for the inevitable death now, isn't it? Up that little yeah. ramp up there is the King Titan Arena. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the plan is, and yeah, if you come follow me, I'll uh, it'll fly over out here in the middle somewhere. There are five dodos all spread out. So what's going to happen is the King Titan is going to spawn in and we've got until the King Titan kills the five dodos to build the best contraption you can on any one of those saddled creatures down there and then take it to war to fight the King Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Which means we probably got all of 10 seconds. <laughs> so yeah, you've got your pick a choice, mate. You can pick... Uh, the Racer, the Bronto, the Mega Shalan, or the uh, the Quetzal, mate. I'm thinking probably the one with the most health. So and then again, may maybe the the Quetzal had ah. a chance to fly. <laughs> Strategies, planning. But I think we'll go for the Quetzal. Right. Okay. If, if we're limited on time. Well, the joy of this one is that we both get to get involved. So you're going to build the Quetzal. I'm going to build. I think. Yeah, I want to go for yeah. the Racer. Yeah, have a bit of speed. Cool, right, okay. So as any decent builder in Arkies, OCD has to play a part in any design. And clearly so with each build not letting a single thing go to waste. And we kind of touched on this before that in a game like Ark that allows that, but equally allows the opposite with some absolutely haunting base builds throughout the years. Have you ever found a particular build, maybe in game or via a video, or maybe not even in Ark, that you had to categorically correct to put your mind at rest? someone else's build yeah that you've seen and you've gone come on we're not doing this <laughs> we're not doing um this. i think I, tr I try not to to look at builds as much as i used to do because i, I do get kind of frustrated with <laughs> certain builders i'd, I'd say yeah but I, I, I think especially with arc because yeah it's one of the it, it's building system it, it's so crazy it's like yeah if you know how to use it you can do, you can make things so smart and, and perfect, but if you're new to the game, you're going to end up building a mess. Anyone is <laughs> yeah. like, when I started, like, yeah, you, right. you just don't, it makes no sense does the building system oh. when you, you, you start out. It's like, why are the pillars sticking up through a ceiling? Yeah, right. And it, it's, it, there's just all sorts of stuff like that that just, uh, it just makes your build look crazy, but yeah, I see, I see that kind of thing all the time, and you can try to ignore it, but it, <laughs> it really, it really does like put you off a build sometimes. Especially like if if you're judging a, a competition or something, that yeah. that's the kind of stuff that that bothers me. Like everyone else <laughs> is looking at the decoration and. And that kind of thing, and I'm like, yeah, but look at these snap points here. Is there any like you've seen that you've like got yourself involved with, and you're like, come on, you're not leaving it like this. I'm I'm fixing it for you. There's been times when people have 
kind of known themselves that it, it, that the the struggling with the building system, and they'll maybe come to me to ask me how to do something. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever gone to, to someone and, and kind of said, look, you build a mess. <laughs> I just, like, when I was writing that question, yeah, I, I, I should have seen that answer. <laughs> like, like what, what do you expect for an answer? Like? <laughs> structures on the platform i put the thing oh, I in i didn't know what started <laughs> you never said anything you were oh, yeah. you're here asking me questions and you've not told me when, when... um yeah ca cap have started <laughs> <laughs> i'm completely there with you that when you're in build mode it's so hard to kind of multitask mate I, yeah yeah i'm i'm yeah I, i'm terrible at multitasking anyway like i, oh, doing I can't drive and have a conversation at the same time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are you one of those ones like me where uh if, the, if there's a film on and somebody talks to you through the film the film you're like what, what are you doing what are you doing yeah why, yeah. why, why are you yeah. distracting me i'm involved with this film yeah. exactly yeah yeah i'm watching a film with this this guy not so long ago and he's like going what size is that tv then oh he's no like, can you just show up please <laughs> <laughs> so yeah going back further and knowing you got into arc right at the start what brought you to arc in the first place and how do you feel about its direction now with arc 2 around the corner we hope uh, does it feel like a fresh slate to start again or evolve into or maybe even mean everything you've done so far will soon be forgotten in an old game originally i I started playing just with like friends and family. Yeah. Um, we used to mess around on PvP from the start. I really enjoyed it in the early games, in the early days yeah. actually. Uh, you know, like you build a raft and then it's like an, an adventure driving your raft through the swamp to the middle river and to, to go to find some pteranodons and then you have to spend like a couple of hours taming a pteranodon. Well, actually, before that, you've got to get like the dodo cable, and I, I, I kind of miss Ark in the early days in in that way, um, yeah. with how grindy it was. Like people used to complain about how grindy it was, but <laughs> I, I really enjoyed that because I don't know there, were, there was something to work for. That's why I'm kind of looking forward to Ark Two because they've said that it's going to be more primitive, aren't they? Mm. So I, I'm hoping that it's going to go back to that. I'm, I'm looking forward to the future of Ark, for sure. You all set and ready? You, you look good. <laughs> well, I thought I was ready, but yeah. I, I thought you said that we, we couldn't have turrets on. Oh, yeah, no, you can. <laughs> I've not put any <laughs> turrets on. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ah, we got lucky. Do you see the bar now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it hadn't fully so spawned in. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go enough any minute now. Speaking of Ark 2, we're finally going to be graced with new structures, or at least we hope to. If there was one type of structure you could bring to Arc 2, what would it be and why? That, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, the thing is, I've thought about this a bit. Go on. About what, what I would, what advice I would give to Wildcard if they were to ask me about structures and that. Yeah. Um, but I think... The thing is, I just like to see what I can achieve with what I'm given. For me, it, it kind of ruins it. If, if it'd ruin it if I was choosing the structures that I had to use. So. As you said at the start of this, you're, you're a problem solver, so you want to, you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you want to be given it, yeah, those. It, yeah, it doesn't really that. matter like what what the structures are. It's just the fun of seeing what you can do with those structures that you're given. Yeah. But if <laughs> Wildcard said Cap. I've just we need. My yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> get them on. <laughs> if they said, if they gave me that one. job, I would probably end up doing something completely different. Yeah. I've had this idea. Go on. A building system where you invent the building pieces. Oh wow! So, okay. Like you, you have like you farm your farming resources like you normally would. Yeah. 
but then you can choose what shape you want to farm those resources into. There's the there, there. Wow. Yeah. Last in one. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. I need to change. I need to change the range on my turret. So um, I think I am absolutely screwed. I have got a King Titan above me. These and it's about to hit me with a. Oh, okay. We, we survived the first hit. I've got. I'm like. I'm surrounded by corrupt. I'm not expect. Right there we go. Jenny's down. Um, no, yeah, everything's gone. I just got punched in the head by a King Titan. I'm coming up to you. <laughs> That's so I close to, to me! I need to get my turrets on higher range. <laughs> I've almost done them. Mount minigun. There we go. I'm mounting it, right? Let's go! <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are we doing any... Oh, we're getting... We're doing... Oh, we're doing some damage! Come on! Four a hit! I think the, Jen... the Jenny's gone. <laughs> I think, I think the, the uh, Pteranodon broke the... <laughs> That's why you should always box your generator. And it always backs them. Always backs your jennies. There we go. Lesson learned. Oh my word. Damn. I feel like I'm on an on rails. Oh, there we oh, go. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're down to the Quetzal pack. Oh no. Peck away. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's some numbers. They're coming as far as you have known to be, in my opinion, one of the greatest art builders out there. Not least to note when you were awarded your very own poop plushie by submitting the most mind-bending greenhouse design, I'm sure even baffled Wildcard themselves. What are your personal arc build goals for the future, mate? I'm about <laughs> to die. Um, I, I just kind of like to keep the building alive, really. Keep it moving forward. Um, it's more about keeping other people doing interesting things for me, because I, I think with building, it's one of those things where everyone sort of feeds off each other. So if people see someone doing something interesting, then they'll kind of adapt that and create something else that's interesting. And uh, yeah, so I just want to kind of keep other builders. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> keep other builders having interesting mechanics and things to play with, really. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. That, that, then that, that in turn like inspires me to do more stuff. Yeah, like just bouncing off each other and yeah. creating those ideas. And that's what I, I love, mate, is that the stuff that you've made throughout the years that have directly inspired other content creators, all the builders out there. And yeah, and you can see uh, people just keep bouncing off one another and inspiring the other. It's, it's yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. But there we go, Cap. We failed. Like, we, we didn't expect a win, really, did we? Like, the... no. <laughs> it's just, I, don't... I think we would have had more of a chance if we weren't doing an interview. But when <laughs> when you're doing both at the same time, both suffer, don't they? <laughs> the interview suffers and, and the, the Titan killing suffers. <laughs> <laughs> where it's good fun but yeah there we go Captain Fat Doug it goes without saying it's been long overdue to get together and a genuine pleasure to yeah. spend some time with you and let the community in on you a little bit more so now it's your time to shine plug away to the rassholes mate what's going on in your life and what can the art community look forward to uh, I think everyone's always asking for the traps so yeah there's going to be more of those to come um i'm trying to start kind of alternate between doing new ones and refreshing old designs either because wildcard have changed things with the building system or um some of them i've just got better at making traps so yeah there's definitely been more of them to come probably be doing some more creative pve builds been doing the stuff with the architects obviously so there'll probably be more of that to come of course you, you've got the shadow main trap coming you're working on it yeah I, I, you're doing a lot of polls at the moment getting trying to refine yeah. what people want so i assume yeah, that's all yeah, going exactly. towards that yeah. to be fair the i think i've got a finished design for that now i've i've just started editing the video today oh and there we go then there we have it there's the plug <laughs> mate the shadow main vid is coming people need a good shadow main trap definitely myself included mate so i'm looking forward to that and i'm sure everybody is so go check out captain fat dog subscribe to him you certainly won't regret it my name's ross clark don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always ah, peace out <laughs>